Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's that time again, my name's Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And the world keeps spinning. We've got some things to talk about today, and some things to look at today, and some things to do today, and all this other stuff. And so we've got some more giveaways. Isn't that cool? That's good news for everybody, I hope. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the show. Um, it's Tuesday here in Australia. Monday for the rest of you, start of the week. I hope... Um, oh my God, man, my cat's back at the door again. Come on. Even after I sprayed him with a water bottle. You know, I'm getting sidetracked. So, hello to the folks in the chat today. Russ, Triple Eight Nine, Scott, Deep Gravity, Gary Hubs... Stu Cash, welcome, welcome aboard. Um, so, what are we going to do? What are we going to talk about? What order am I going to do this at today? Let's jump into here first. Let's have a look at any apps that are on sale and stuff, um, because there's a few. So, look, I've, if, you, if you've watched the show, you'll know these pop up all the time, these session band apps. And I, I keep saying, you know, I've got virtually all of them. Um, and I don't really use them, but, you know, one day I might. And hell, they're worth nine bucks. And so there's another two of them on sale. So go over and grab them. I recommend you just grab them. There might be something in it that you'll uh, like. This one's the Rock Session one, and there's a ukulele one. Who knows? You might need some ukulele. You can choose the key of these apps. They're free as well. So you may as well go there. The, I mean, I think there's another couple if I go further down that are free at the moment too. So whenever they pop up, I always recommend grabbing them because they're something else to have in the back pocket for your arsenal if you're making music. You know, and that's that's a great thing about these apps that pop up for free. You may not, you know, you may think, I'm, I'm never going to use that, but may as well grab it. It could be something you get to, re getting close to finishing something, and there's that something that you, that's missing in your track, and what do you know? You go, I, and I, I do this often, I will go through my um, app store and I'll show you to I'm sure most of you don't know how to do this you just open up your app store where's mine I can't even see it oh, it's down at the bottom on here and you click on your little photo up in the top right hand corner and hit your purchase and I will just do something like search guitar and look at that it'll bring up all of the guitar apps that I have purchased and stuff so you know you may want to find something that you need and if you have all these free apps in here it's really cool just to go and grab something like that to, to add to your your thing um so anyway there's a little hint there's a little tip for you okay um so that's that oh what else was there was there anything else new in there all right so uh these guys who make re-slice harmony 8 so i've got harmony 8 as well it's like a uh, pitch uh, pitch shifter for vocals and instruments also what else um, so a whole bunch of their apps are on sale at the moment so they're normally around 10 bucks and they're all down to like two three dollars five dollars they've got a whole, whole huge variety of different apps there and so all of them from like this uh, synth jacker all the way down to here that's all their branded apps I think they're called Verisyn is that what they're called I can't remember I think so. Um, so there's some good apps in there as well. Um, so the link to this is always in the description of every one of my videos for App Sliced. So, you know, you can just click on that link and you can save it as a favorite to your bookmarks and every day just check it. Say, you know, so you just refresh it every day. And if you click on newest, little link up the top here, um, what you can do is select your genre, hit music, and then go. And it'll tell you all the new apps that have been released today as well. So there's that little tip out the way. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, so I say hello to a few other people that are here. So I'm a bit distracted today because um, I'm going to talk about that very shortly g'day paul and who else has popped in here deep gravity hello tom rochelle g'day welcome along so i'll cover this uh so we'll talk about this first before we go any further 
Uh, so my guest this Friday is an amazing artist named Yale Aden. She's an amazing um, singer, songwriter from Israel, and um, she does a lot of looping. Um, so I'll play a little bit of her music. Um, she's absolutely a beautiful human being, beautiful looking as well. Um, and this is some of her music. So she's on the show on Friday. I've been around the globe looking for that happy mess. Everyone are speaking of. I've been around the globe in the greatest cities on the highest mountains. So I'm really looking forward to that, definitely, because um, I think she's awesome. I've got all of her music. I've been a fan for quite a, a fair while now. Um, oops, I have to stop the music, don't I? <laughs> um, so it's a usual time for the interview this week, around this time. Uh, so it's Thursday for the, all of you living in the, in the past. Uh, but yeah, normal time this week because uh, she's in Israel. So it's about midnight for her. And um, I think we may have a little bit of, I may even have a, a, a beer early in the morning because she's going to have a drink as well. And we may have, I may even get a bottle of wine and have a glass of wine and we're going to have a chat about music and stuff and like what it's like playing music in Israel and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be really interesting. Plus on that show too is where we're going to be giving away the um, prizes from yesterday. Okay, so what are we, we've got the Nembrini um 8180 Monster Tube. We're giving away two copies of that. And I can announce today, going to be giving away three copies of today's app as well on Friday too. So we're going to give you, be giving away five apps on Friday. So that's really cool. I hope uh, everybody is excited. This piano app is really cool in itself. So lots of prizes this week. You know, sometimes we have none and then all of a sudden we have heaps. So what are we looking at today? We are looking at this um, grand... I think there's a dash in it. Piano. Piano. AUV3. AUV3. I think that's... There it is. Um, so it's two ninety nine US for this. So it's really cheap. Okay. Compared to something like um, Ravenscroft. And look, it's not Ravenscroft. Okay. Definitely not Ravenscroft. Um, but the sampling in, in this app is pretty damn good, man. Like... For, for three bucks, for, you know, less than a coffee, it's pretty damn impressive. And it's really simple to use. It's got a few, you know, it's, it's not a, a perfect in any way, shape or form. But as you'll see, what it's really good for is ultimately, man, if you're using GarageBand, which I know a lot of people who follow this show do use, the piano can get a little bit stale in GarageBand. So you're looking for a different piano sound. And, and there's a lot of apps out there that cost a lot of money to first buy the app and then buy all the add-ons and packs and all that stuff. So this is a perfect breakaway from using, not using Apple's piano sound if you can't, you know, justify dumping all that money on Ravenscroft. So, so I've got three copies of this to give away. So um, the same deal as usual. Leave a comment on this video once it goes live and stuff. I'll be reminding you all through the week. And on Friday, I'll be announcing the two winners for the Nembrini app and the three winners for this. So five winners on Friday. So everyone's a winner, baby, don't you know? So that's pretty cool too. Um, now, I wasn't aware of that. It looks like Paul said in the chat that... Um, let me just get my shit together today. That this isn't working on iOS 14. So... I'll ask the dev about that because we had a chat last night. So I will ask him about it and we'll see. I'm sure he's going to update it because he's he's really, you know, into his app and he, he loves his app like most developers do. It's their baby. And I'm sure he'll be sorting that out shortly like most app developers will be doing. I don't know what to say about iOS 14. Um, if you've updated to iOS 14, that's what you got to expect, man. Like... 
A lot of stuff ain't going to work and there's already heaps of stuff that ain't working and that is what it is. So before I jump into the app, because there's, you know, it's a pretty short app to look at today because there's, there's not much to this app, man. It's simple. It's got like three settings on it and it just does what it does really fucking good. So yeah, but what I want to talk about today Ah, uh, sorry about that. Hello, Pete Johns. Yeah, likely story, Pete Johns. Look at this. Couldn't find the stream. You think I know a bit about YouTube? Yeah, who are you again? <laughs> um, likely story, likely story. So, welcome along anyway. You haven't missed much. I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant anyway right now because I think it's important and it's a bit about mental health and about this song, Temba stuff. Again, like I talked a little bit about it yesterday and about collaboration and about pressure and about setting yourself up for failure and taking on too much and i tend and i'm going to talk about myself in this um, aspect too now on this show i talk about making mistakes making mistakes make you better and often i do make mistakes and i fuck up all the time and i'm really thankful for it uh, i don't really go back and watch my sh my own show since i've been doing this um so, and that's just because I've already done the show and I <laughs> I remember I'm very critical of my own, everything I do. So when I fuck up, I know I fuck up and I, I don't need to go back and watch it a hundred times to drum it into my stupid little head. Um, I can dwell on things and I know um, we can all dwell on things and, and it can, it can stop stifle our creativity sometimes so with this song timber stuff i talked about yesterday with uh people feeling like can they get their stuff out on time and and, and etc so uh yesterday i had a really bad day trying to work on my um my ep in fact i didn't get any music done i sat down with my guitar i just couldn't get my hands to work I couldn't sit down in front of my iPad. I just got incredibly frustrated. I felt claustrophobic. I needed to walk away. The more I sat there, the angrier I kind of got. Thankfully, I had something else to do for the EP and was able to go away and write some lyrics and kind of wrap all that up. And then I did some singing to it. I went for a walk, put on my headphones and tried singing to the songs to work out all the melodies. So I still did get something done. Um, but I did go to sleep last night really pissed off at myself that I feel um yeah I feel like I let myself down and that I'm un that I actually did exactly what I said to people not to do yesterday <laughs> it's unbelievable you know um and I was I found it hard to go to sleep last night thinking about fuck am I gonna get this shit done have I taken on too much you know three songs here but then I woke up this morning and was like <laughs> Does it matter? Like, really? Like, it's it's the 20, what is it, 22nd today? The end of, so there's still eight, not nine days left till the end of this month. That's heaps of time. I can I can pretty much get something done in a whole day. So this the, the pressure was unnecessary. Um, yeah, and instead of like reaching out to anybody like I really should have and said something about it, I bottled it up. And, um, and it's not healthy. But what I did do, which I'm glad my autopilot is getting more and more used to, is I found something else to do, even though it wasn't towards... So sure, I did some lyrics, worked on some melody lines early in the day. But for the rest of the day, I played video games. And I did a whole bunch of other things. I watched a movie, I watched some YouTube Um I actually wrote a really long letter to somebody I hadn't spoken to for a while. So I got a whole lot of other things done. And now today I've woken up heaps refreshed and ready to go. But at the same time, in the back of my head, if I struggle again today, it's not a bad thing. Because ultimately I was talking to my flatmate last night too about, hey, I've still got to send this to DistroKid once it's done. And hopefully it actually comes out. Okay, because I don't know how long DistroKid's going to take to do this. Sometimes, I mean, I don't have the magic touch of Pete Johns, <laughs> who like sends a track to DistroKid and it's out like the next day in 12 hours. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> who knows? But see, that's it could happen. I could uh, get the EP to DistroKid and it's out within 
you know, a day or two, or it could take like a week. I don't really know, but I don't really give a fuck because I know I've taken on way too much. So that's how I'm going to end on this, talking about way too much, taking on way too many things. And because um, currently I've got other things going on at the moment. I've got, I've got some paid work going on for Wrestle Talk. I have to recreate a wrestling theme song for a wrestler named Kelly Kelly. I'll show you just briefly because I, I want to keep you informed of what's happening and and why sometimes the show might be <laughs> a little bit weird and why we're having these rants sometimes. So what is it, Kelly 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 theme song so i have to recreate this song i'm getting paid for it so uh i may get a copyright strike but i don't care or a claim okay so that's enough of that it makes me vomit every time i hear it so i have to recreate that song uh <laughs> There's no time frame, at least. Like, at least in the next week. I've already started work on it. <laughs> holla, holla. Oh, my God. That song's fucking crap. But, yeah. So, I've got that going on. I've got this show going on each day. I'm trying to do this three-track EP. It's a lot of stuff to, to maintain. So, that was the other thing I focused on um, this morning when I woke up was, hey, go easy. <laughs> there's a lot going on you take you always i always take on way too much and there's a reason behind that for my health if i feel if i slow down i'll get sick so that's part of the reasoning behind that uh our this is going to lead into what's going to happen after song timber is over uh, so i'll just touch on this before um getting into this app i know i've taken up a bit of time and thank you i uh, thank you for indulging me getting this off my chest and hopefully it helps you guys with uh, your creative process during this crazy month of songtember but once this is all done i'm going to be doing um revisiting a <laughs> a, a collaboration so i'm going to be doing a week on collaborations and how to do collaborations and how not to do collaborations and how to rectify a collaboration you've played a part in and fucked up because um, last year, around this time, I started a collaboration with somebody from the GarageBand users group and we got it close to being done and I kind of put it on the back burner because of other things that popped up in my life and I wasn't well and, and I've let it go. And I've, I think I'm in the right place now to bring it up. So uh, I think what that week's going to be about is that even though you've let a song go on the back burner, you've you know you felt like you can't do it or anything like that or you've just forgotten about it and you've even collaborated with somebody else you feel like you may have let them down don't just shut up about it talk about it to that person and you can always come back to it so i'm going to be revisiting that and we're going to be wrapping up that collaboration because it's a really really cool song and i can't wait to release that so there we go on that um and it's going to be really really ace i'm looking forward to wrapping up that song um, all right, let's have a look at this app. So let's get, and my cat's just started meowing just right now. So, ooh, look, we've got a new camera view today. Another new camera view, which is pretty exciting. Um, I've got a new uh, webcam coming as well, which I ordered yesterday. So I've nearly got the whole setup ready for my Patreon, which is going to be cool with multiple cameras everywhere, multiple streaming. That's going to be really ace. Cameras is another story. Webcams since COVID. Web cameras have gone up by 80%. Yay, because we all need one. So uh, let's open this app. Let's scoot across to it. Now, straight off the bat, here's the interface. It's not very exciting, but you know what? It doesn't fucking need to be because it's a piano and it's, it's not what it looks like. It's what it sounds like. And that's really cool. And for three bucks... Straight off the bat, it's pretty damn nice sounding. And your options up the top here, there's not much, okay? So you could the top slider, you can pull this all the way down and you can get those big old fat keys if you've got big old fat fingers. Okay. <laughs> 
So also you can turn it up and you can get all those keys there. So that's really nice so if you're using your iPad for this kind of stuff. Let's bring it down to a little respectable level there. So, and the other thing is, there's only one set of sounds for it. It's just this one sound. You're not getting anything else. There's no other options or anything like that. It's all, this is, it is what it is, as, as Donald Trump would say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, the middle one changes your octaves. Okay. So we can bring this up to one. And you can see the numbers changing across the top. So that's pretty cool, nice and basic. And you've got a volume slider. That's it, Oop, get my finger on there, there we go. That's all there is to it, nothing else. It's pretty unfancy schmancy. So now I did check two, cause I thought, I'm hoping that there's, maybe there's some other options in the settings. So let's scoot out of there for a second, you know, you can, it's always good to check over here in your settings pane and scroll down and is there anything extra? That's the other thing, which, you know, sometimes they hide these things in here. So where is it? Grand piano. So it's there, but nothing. So that's that. Now let's get back in. Here's the other thing. If you're just using the app a standalone by itself and you've got a MIDI keyboard, no biscuit. You've got nothing happening. But that's cool too, because, you know, it's it uh, has so little features to it, it's uh, not really of any use if you're using it as a standalone. But where it does shine is in something like GarageBand. So let's open up GarageBand and see our happy, faithful little thing here. Um, so this is a, a track from my album. It's... It's not even a proper, it's like a, it's a, what do you call it? It's one of those throwaway tracks. So I've made a duplicate of a duplicate of a duplicate. And then I've just been throwing around different ideas in this one. And as you can see, I've got two tracks here, which have already got Ravenscroft on there uh, for the piano of this. So I'll give it a quick play. Whoa. Cool. So now let's open up a new track and we're going to go to audio extensions. Okay. So, and it should be in here. There it is. So it's, what is it? Just there. And now we've got our track. So keyboard working now. Cool. Keyboard's working. Here's the other good thing too. If I can uh, reach down here. So we've got a sustain pedal here. Is the sustain pedal working? Because I know it's been an issue for people using Ravenscroft. They're saying the, the sustain pedal, when you're recording MIDI with Ravenscroft, it's actually picking up the sustain pedal if you're using a, a controller. But when you open the actual, and to edit the actual MIDI, there's no little section down the bottom to change the um, sustain. So uh, hopefully, if, and we can. How many times do we fucking say this a week? Hopefully, one day Apple will update GarageBand to accommodate all these amazing AUV3 plugins that now can be used with this outdated, fantastic app that is GarageBand. So, does this work? Does my sustain pedal work? Make sure it's on. So, let's click the sustain pedal down. So, it's working. So sustain pedal is working. I can confirm that for you. Good to know. Remember three bucks, folks. Three bucks. Man. That's really cheap. I had no problem buying this. I saw this arrived and just was like three bucks. Are you kidding me? For a really good piano sound. Um, so what I will do, here, what else have we got? So settings wise, once it's in here as a, a plug-in, 
not much there nothing really pops up um, here so you've got an attack that's basically all you've got there an attack slider I don't think there's anything else oh yeah so you've got all this stuff here so you've got your decay that disappears when I look at that look at that but it looks like so you can change the gain and I'll ask the dev about this too because when I let go of this slider here as you can see these all these options disappear so that's interesting um, but it looks like you've got a stereo pan as well Let's see if that it's not really working I only just found this out so uh, but there is a sustain here let's see if I turn that up and it's not working so we'll ask the developer about these of these uh, options here oh my god <laughs> look at that I can't even I can't change it go down go down bitch so there you go hopefully that'll be fixed um, but yeah so they, they're your options if you've got a sustain pedal on your uh, oh, let me just check too maybe maybe let's just do this um, oh, I want to turn that off I turn this whoops turn the scale off maybe it actually affects let's have a look I'm curious now if we got a stereo pan I thought maybe it might only have an effect to using the actual on-screen keyboard it's worth having a try anyway so it all works that's all good and the other great thing about this you know you can record your parts now let's just show you something I'll just I'm not gonna play anything sensational here but with the sustain pedal what I have seen okay again when you record so let's just start recording I'm just showing you with the sustain pedal the what I've noticed when you edit stuff so I've got no sustain pedal on there Now when I go and open up, again, there's no, down the bottom here, there's no sustain option. So when you go into edit, as you can see, there's nothing down there to uh, see, if, to actually alter the sustain. But what it looks like it does do when you're holding down the uh, sustain pedal is that it actually stretches out the notes. So that's that's a cool thing. I think that's we'll try and just make sure I'm, I'm, that was right. Oops. I'll just delete that. I'll try again. If I got sustain loaded on here. Nope. Cool. now let's have a look at that so you can see I held down the actual sustain on this note here but there's no sustain down the bottom here but if we play it back it's got sustain on it and this one doesn't so that's same kind of thing that's what happens with um, Ravenscroft as well I'm guessing this is an issue with GarageBand that they need to update their software so these AUV3 plugins can actually communicate properly and, and put in the sustain down the bottom like we're used to when we're using the Apple, uh, the GarageBand built-in uh, piano. So the other good thing about this is if you're, as I said, if you're recording piano in GarageBand and you don't, you're getting a bit bored of the piano sound, and I'll do this just to show you um, is like any uh, AUV3 plugin you can actually take this whole piano track here copy it take it down here and paste it into place and you can replace 
that. And you can hear it's a... It's a pretty damn good sounding piano, I have to admit. I don't know why I've lost piano sound there. Anyway, that is that. There's not much to this today. I thought I'd just run through and show you this. It's three bucks. There's absolutely fuck all to it. It just works. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a, what more can I say? It's a piano app with really high quality sound. And um, that's what you're going to get. There's no hidden features. There's no hidden bullshit. It just works. So going to give away three copies of it um, on Friday. So that's cool. So, uh, but you know, if you can't wait, support the developer. Uh, he seems like a really nice guy. You're super excited to, uh, and, and I didn't actually ask him for any copies to give away when I um, chatted with him. I just let him know that I was doing a show on his app and was like, hey man, I really like your app. I just thought I'd let you know I'm doing a show on it. And he very kindly gave a whole bunch of um codes to give away which is super kind and you know he's really excited about his app which most developers are so and it looks like he's a single developer so uh, you know i'm always going to support these people and i think we all should support our developers yes and you know again like exactly what russ has said here you can multi-layer with something like raven's cross craft multi-layer with the piano in, in garage band You've got heaps of different options with it for three bucks. Yeah, it's a steal. It's a steal. And I guess, you know, if um, we don't support our developers, they won't be able to update their apps because they constantly have to because of iOS 14 and all this shit. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, I'm going to now maybe go for a walk again. And, you know, I think it was it. I don't know who wrote it in the chat before. I saw it but didn't acknowledge it. Was it Tom or Russ about me walking down the park screaming death metal? That's what I do. That's what I actually do. I actually go for my walk with my headphones on and scream my head off because we're in lockdown here in Victoria and there's not many people out. And I keep walking past people not wearing a mask and it pisses me off. So I just go, oh, fuck you. Um, yeah. And I especially change the lyrics to whatever I'm singing <laughs> to those people when I walk past them because they're the people continuing the lockdown, unfortunately. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you all have a good day. And all of your Song Timber stuff is coming along. Hopefully I'm going to have a bit more luck today once I jump onto my guitar and bass to wrap up everything. And I think all I've got left to do is just... Sorting the sound for my bass, a couple more guitar tracks across each of the songs, then the vocals, and then some effects. Like I've got some sirens I'm going to put in one of the songs, like a, 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 a hurricane warning siren, a whole bunch of effects at the start of crowds fighting and, and, and riots and stuff like that. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for hanging out in the live chat like you always do. Remember to leave a comment on this video and yesterday's video to be in the running to win. And both these apps on Friday. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a really good day. If you're watching on the replay, leave a comment, say something. You have a chance to win and like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And right now, as I wrap up the show, you'll see some subscribe buttons and a playlist. So click on that. Do yourself a favor, catch up on some cool apps, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Adios, baby. Adios, baby. Ciao for now. See ya.